Hello, I'm Jason Byrne. I'm a professor of human geography and planning at the University of Tasmania. Thank you for the excellent question about whether climate change will make us live somewhere else. For example, underneath the ocean, or if you like Elon Musk, thinking we might go and colonize Mars, living in space. Climate change is certainly going to affect us in very particular ways. Uh, as you probably already know, it will make temperatures more extreme and hotter. We might uh, experience increased rainfall events or droughts, bushfires. We'll see sea level rise in the future as well. So climate change will affect our lives. The good news is that we don't have to go to space or live underwater as a way to adapt to climate change. But we will need to take action. Our cities in, in places can be quite vulnerable to climate change impacts. For example, if you live very close to the ocean on low-lying land, in the future you might need to move somewhere else as the sea level rises. Solutions such as building walls along the coastline, sea walls, to hold ocean flooding back do not work in the long term. They can cause erosion elsewhere and this is a problem. We also know that we can plant lots of trees in our cities to cool temperatures. In cities, temperatures can be 10, 15 degrees hotter than surrounding countryside. But if we plant lots of trees, we can cool the temperature in cities by about 12 degrees. So that's pretty good. Other steps that we can take to help us adapt to climate change in cities include growing our own food in our backyards to reduce our dependence on food grown in other places. If uh, you live somewhere that doesn't have hydroelectricity like Tasmania, you could put solar panels on your roof. Now this means that you can generate your own electricity. It also means that you're not producing emissions. We can take other steps in cities as well. For example, reducing the number of times you might make a trip in a car and instead walk or jump on your bicycle if you can. And that will help us to both reduce our emissions and stay fit and healthy. And finally, steps that we can take to help adapt our cities to climate change to make them more livable in the future include getting to know your neighbours better. Uh, that means that if a crisis happens, such as a fire or a flood, you'll have your mates around who you can help and they'll be able to help you too. So thanks again for that excellent question from Cambridge Primary School, grades 5, 6b.